About 40% of people who get Graves' hypothyroidism will also get some manifestation of thyroid eye disease. In the mildest form, uh, it's uh, manifest with just abnormal eyelid contour, so the eyelid positions change, typically the upper eyelid first, um, and that can be associated with wateriness of the eyes or grittiness of the eyes. Um, if it gets uh, worse, the eyes can be can push forward uh, from uh, inside the skull uh, and start to become inflamed, so they're red and more prominent. Uh, if the next stage on from that will be double vision, and that typically occurs first thing in the morning, but can occur all day as it gets worse. And then the very worst part of thyroid eye disease can be if your vision itself uh, starts to fail, so your visual acuity, ability to read a newspaper or uh, see a number plate can start, start to um, diminish. It's caused because uh, the attack of the immune system in Graves' hypothyroidism is the uh, thyroid stimulating hormone receptor, the TSH receptor, uh, which as well as being uh, the main, if you like, switch for the thyroid gland, there's also a small amount of it uh, in the tissues behind the eye uh, in the so-called orbital uh, structure and uh, that can also become the target of the immune response uh, which is what leads to thyroid eye disease. So inflammation of the muscles behind the eye and soft tissues around the eye uh, leads to the swelling and the eyes being pushed forward. For people with mild disease, uh, the first thing is to stop smoking if you're a cigarette smoker and then uh, most of the symptoms can be managed with eye drops uh, and taking sodium supplements, that's uh, a mineral that, that helps to dampen down the inflammation in the eyes, is all that will be needed and the, and the manifestations will improve over 6 to 12 months without any further treatment. For people whose eyes uh, get more inflamed or they start to develop uh, double vision, uh, then uh, more aggressive anti-inflammatory immunosuppressive treatments may be needed like steroid infusions. Thank you.